Salut, c'est Géraldine, bienvenue sur Common Française TV, Sound French, even to the French. In France, you might find regular mentions of saints on TV, in newspapers or on your calendar. It's an ancient tradition, yet it's never explained or talked about in our culture, discussions or on TV shows. And your French friends won't take the time to tell you about it. What's a name day in France? Let's dive in. La tradition celebrates a specific first name every day. It's the name day, la fête du prénom. If today is the day for your name, it's ta fête or votre fête, your celebration. People can wish you bonne fête, happy name day. They might sometimes give you a small present as well, but it's very unusual now. On the other hand, if you want to make a gift for someone's name day, feel free. There's no such thing as a bad occasion to be nice. This tradition isn't really tied to religion anymore, but it does come from the celebrations of Catholic saints, le Saint Catholique. That's why the date of your name day is also referred to as the name of the saint. We make a difference between talking about the saint and the day with the use of an added hyphen and using the feminine grammatical gender for the day. Or to put it more clearly, We have le Saint André or Saint André is the pious man, while la Saint André is the feast of Saint Andrew, the day of 13th of November. For example, on December 5th, c'est ma fête, it's my name day, or c'est la Sainte Géraldine, it's the feast of Saint Géraldine. Calendars on paper or online often have the name day for each date. It's also sometimes shared in the newspaper of the day, especially close to l'horoscope du jour, l'horoscope du jour, the daily horoscope. They're also common in la météo de la veille, la météo de la veille, the weather forecast from the day before with l'éphéméride, the very short section at the end that gives a few special bits of information for the next day, such as the time of the sunrise or the saint of the day. You might hear those few variations. Demain nous serons la Saint-Brice. Demain nous serons la Saint-Brice. Tomorrow will be the day of Saint Brice. Demain nous fêterons les Chantal. Demain nous fêterons les Chantal. Tomorrow will be the name there for the Chantal. Nous souhaiterons la bonne fête à toutes les prudences. Nous souhaiterons la bonne fête à toutes les prudences. Tomorrow we wish a happy name day for all prudence. Now, they will only mention one name for each day. However, there are more than 350 first names in France and people don't want to feel left out. So each day has several more names stacked on with more or less justifications from tradition. As we've just seen, if you find a French calendar, un calendrier, un calendrier or a full year almanac, un almanac, you will see that each day has its associated saint. Oh, that's tricky to say. These saints are sometimes called les saints du calendrier. Les saints du calendrier, calendar saints. They used to be a good starting place for choosing a baby's first name, along with classical mythology and most commonly from the name of the godfather or godmother. Some days of the year still are especially referred to as the feast of their saint. For example, la Saint-Sylvestre. La Saint-Sylvestre is a common synonym used for 31st of December. La Saint-Jean. La Saint-Jean falls on the 24th of June. It's a joyful celebration of summer, especially in rural France. And an occasion for making bright fires, les feux de la Saint-Jean. Les feux de la Saint-Jean. In northern France, you could also find processions in the street for La Saint-Martin, La Saint-Martin, on the 10th of November, with lanterns and pumpkins, a bit like northern American Halloween. The list goes on and on. Each day has its saint, and each saint is le saint patron, le saint patron, the patron saint, for something, such as a city, like Saint-Denis for Paris, Saint-Denis, or for a profession, even the astronauts with Saint Alpe, or a community like Saint Isidore for the patron saint of the internet. However, one special saint isn't celebrated yet, his day is super famous. It's la Saint Glinglin, 
la Saint Glinglin. The associated saint never actually existed, but that day is used for an expression meaning never, like quand les poules auront des dents. Quand les poules auront des dents. It's the same when chicken will grow teeth, the French version of when pigs fly. Un dicton, un dicton is a folk proverb, usually short and rhyming. They were useful for farmers and peasants to keep tabs on what they were supposed to do and when. Even though they're not so commonly used anymore, many of those proverbs use the calendar saint, such as À la Saint Abdon, murs sont les melons. À la Saint Abdon, murs sont les melons. On the day of Saint Abdon, the 30th of July, melons are ripe. À la Saint-Denis, ramasse tes fruits. À la Saint-Denis, ramasse tes fruits. On the day of Saint-Denis, October 9th, pick up your fruits. Or even à la Sainte-Luce, les jours croissent du saut d'une puce. À la Sainte-Luce, les jours croient du saut d'une puce. This is so cute. On the day of Saint-Lucie, the days grow by a fleece jump. The agriculture use was inspiration for the new calendar of the French Revolution, the calendrier révolutionnaire. Le calendrier révolutionnaire or le calendrier républicain. Le calendrier républicain. The months were named after natural events, and the week had 10 days instead of 7, and the patron saints were replaced with flowers, plants and abstract ideals. During these few years, some people even picked names in this new calendar instead, and the record shows that a few babies were named Égalité, Equality, Orange, Orange, and even Choufleur, Cauliflower. Unfortunately, this calendar didn't last long enough to create new proverbs. And using saints and farming habits isn't so common now anyway. But there's still one last French expression where the name day reference certainly appears, yet not in a good way. Be careful if someone tells you, ça va être ta fête, ça va être ta fête. Technically, it means it's going to be your party or your name day in a good way, which is pretty fun. But it's also a colloquial expression for threatening violence, and that's way less fun. But don't worry, hopefully it will not happen until la Saint-Glinglin. Et toi, does your name have its day in France? What is it? Tell me in French if you dare in the comment section, I want to hear from you. If you're on YouTube, you will find a link below the video to the blog communefrancaise.com. There I read all the comments and try to answer all your questions too. Did you like this video? Do you want more? Let me share exclusive lessons, private offers and my 10 favorite Commune Française handpicked episodes with you by email. It's super easy to join. Leave me your first name and email and I will get back to you straight away. Subscribe now to get my best content straight to your inbox. The fantastic stuff that's not even on YouTube. And the best thing is, it's all free. Merci for watching Comme in Française TV. Sound French even to the French. Allez, salut!